My name is Mandy Candle, and I'm a developer at Sparkbox. Sparkbox is researching and comparing some of the common automated accessibility tools so developers can choose the one which is right for them. Today, I will be reviewing Lighthouse, which is Google's website auditing tool. Lighthouse is commonly used to measure many different types of website metrics, but today we are going to focus on using Lighthouse to run an automated accessibility test. Lighthouse is a very versatile tool, and Google gives users many different options for using it, including in the command line and as a node module. Today, however, we are going to focus on using Lighthouse directly in Chrome's developer tools. The site we are going to be testing is one that Sparkbox has purposely developed with multiple common accessibility issues so that we could test tools like Lighthouse to determine how they do at finding those issues. Because Lighthouse is a Google product, it comes built into Chrome's developer tools, so there's no installation of any kind. All I need to do to get started is to right-click anywhere on my screen and press the Inspect option from the pop-up menu. Then I can choose the Lighthouse tab within developer tools to open the interface. One of the nice things about Lighthouse is that the interface to get started is very straightforward and easy to use. I'm just going to run an accessibility audit today, so I'm going to choose accessibility from the audits list. I'm also going to run this test for a desktop site for this demonstration, so I'm going to leave desktop selected here as well. Other than that, all I need to do to run the accessibility audits is press the generate report button. As you can see, Lighthouse runs the audit and returns the report pretty quickly. Now the first thing you will notice is that the report includes an accessibility score. This score is a weighted average of the different checks that Lighthouse ran as part of the audit. In addition to the accessibility score, the report includes a detailed list of the checks that failed. Let's look at the first one for example. Background and foreground colors do not have sufficient contrast ratio. If I expand the accordion item, I can see there is a brief explanation of the problem, which in this case is that we have some elements on the page that have very low contrast compared to their background. This check also includes a list of the elements that are failing the low contrast check. Right now, all I can see is the tag and class associated with that element, but if I hover over any one of these, Lighthouse will highlight that element on the page so I can see which one it is. Also, if I then click on that element, it will take me to the code in the DevTools Elements tab so I can see the actual rendered HTML for that element. Now, how do I find out what I need to know to fix this issue? Well, if I go back over to Lighthouse, I can see that there is a Learn More link for each accessibility check. If I click on it, it will take me to a page in the Lighthouse documentation where there is an explanation of the issue and how to fix it. I like this one because it also has a link to the WCAG documentation so I know which success criteria this check is based on. However, Lighthouse isn't very consistent with their explanation of the issues. If I go back over to Lighthouse and choose a different accessibility check, This one doesn't have a link to WCAG, so I can see some suggestions to fix it, but I don't really have a good way to check the specification if I want or need to learn more. I also want to mention that the Learn More links in the report aren't actually accessible. If I were using a screen reader for this page in a mode that allowed me to just hear a list of the links, I would just hear Learn More out of context, and that could be confusing. So that's a big accessibility fail inside of an accessibility tool. There is a part of the report that I really appreciate, and that is the section called Additional Items to Manually Check. No automated tool is going to catch every accessibility issue, and I like the fact that Lighthouse prompts the user to also make sure they are conducting manual testing as well. Looking for more accessibility tools? Check out our playlist for the complete list of accessibility tool reviews. And for a full breakdown of Lighthouse, check out my article in the Foundry in the link below. Thanks for watching.